Hi guys, are you here with Naritude for Blender? In this one I want to show you how to use knife in Blender. So to access knife in Blender you need to be in edit mode, either in vert mode or edge mode. So if you don't use machine tools add-on, which allows me to, uh, for quick, you know, switching between uh, these modes, you need to press tab and one or two keys to um, access here, either vert or edge mode, okay? So how you use knife, you simply press K, then you hover over an edge or vert until it highlights and simply click, select another edge, click, and then move to another edge, click, and then enter when you're done. And this is gonna basically add an edge to your geometry, okay? You can do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. If you, for example, using hard ops, you could change it to a pipe. And if you're using, for example, uh, machine tools, or so, sorry, I mean decal machine, you could change it into a panel, right? So when I go now to edit mode, you can see there has been panel created in here. Would be a precision cut. So let's go to vert mode this time, okay? And let's delete this edge. So X and dissolve edge. And then we're gonna go to K and we're going to hover over this edge and press C, which will basically uh, snap this to 45 degrees angle. So it's gonna be, you know, 90, 45, etc. right? So click here and simply click here and press enter and I get a precise edge, right? Another way of running the knife would be uh, by running this knife across the whole structure because if you if you notice this cut is on the, on the top it doesn't go you know through the bottom part of this of this geo but th what if you wanted to cut it through you know kind of like slice it with a knife right can you do this well you can so let's click here then let's press C then click here and click here and then Z, click, and enter. And this will slice through the mesh, okay? Now what if you wanted to slice through the mesh? You press K, you click on the edge, you press C, well, just let's, you know, let's make it straight. You click on this edge here, and then you press, uh, you press, let me just align this, Z, click, and enter. And this should go through, there you go, see? Now you got an edge loop going through, you know, across the mesh, right? Now, if you wanted to cut, uh, to perform multiple cuts, what you need to do is press E. So if I go here and press C, and then go to this edge and click and press E, my knife's gonna get detached. But you see, my knife projection hasn't ended yet. I can still keep drawing, uh, you know, new edges. You just have to press E. So click, click, and E, click, click, and E. And if you want to finish your cutting, you simply press enter and it, this is going to get you out of the um, knife mode. Yeah. Now, this is all great, but um, if you use tools like box cutter or hard ops, this is way more powerful. OK, so let's, for example, sh uh, you know, shift D this to copy this and make it into a cutter, select this shape, go to bullions and knife. And now this shape was cut with this, you know, knife projection, so with a boolean. There is no such thing as, you know, knife boolean in Blender, so uh, with a hard ops, it's not possible. Then what you can do is uh, create some more complex shapes with box cutter. So, for example, go to Ngon and, you know, you can go completely nuts with it, okay, very quickly. In addition to all this, you can bevel it, right, so you can create something like this. There's more. You can create custom shapes so for example if i had a cube right and i'm gonna move this cube in here okay and i'm gonna make it really shallow all right and i'm going to let's just add some cavity here so we can see better let's change this to cutter for a second and let's simply you know slice this cube a little bit okay to so create some cool you know some cool shape right let's grab a circle and I don't know, cut something like this and, you know, grab a box and do this and let's apply this. Okay. And now, now let's shift this to, so press D and custom. So we're going to shift to custom cutter and press C to copy this one to a custom cut, click on the shape and, you know, we can now, uh, cut it in object mode, uh, with a shape. So I can go down, switch to knife, click and Bob your uncle and there's your custom shape. But what if you wanted, for example, to add, you know, um, loops to a difficult shape that is, uh, it's an angle like this one, for example, right? 
So let's rotate it on X axis. Okay. And let's say that we wanted to deform this, you know, or for example, uh, twist this, right? So let's go here to the top view and bring this one in here and apply its rotation. Okay. And we wanted to um, add a twi uh, twist 360 rotation around, right? You can see that the shape now is going to bend and sort of crack because it doesn't have supporting edges in the middle. Now, the easy way to run knife projection through this is with a hard ops um, tool called dice, because with dice, you can run knife any way uh, you want. So on X, Y or Z axis. And you can just slice it and see what happens. It just got smoothed out because he has more, he has simply more loop cuts to support the shape. And as you know, running loop cuts through the shape with angons is simply impossible in Blender. So dice is literally the only way to do it. So anyway, guys, I hope this helps you out with a knife tool and solve some questions and problems that any one of you might have. Gr great stuff in modeling. I use knife a lot. Uh, it could be helpful for, you know, fixing topology or creating new um, faces or, you know, shapes out of Geo. So extremely powerful tool. But like I said, with hard ops and box cutter, just, but like I said, hard ops and box cutter bring this uh, thing to another level. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Give us a like and sub if you did. As usual, links in the video description uh, leading to stores of the add-on creators that i use such as box cutter or hard ops in this case also machine stores kit ops all this stuff you know i use it all the time so i couldn't recommend it more so if you're gonna go through the links it doesn't cost you anything extra but you're gonna help me at the same time so that's it for this video thanks for watching catch you in the next one